Greater Phoenix is setting another heat record this year. This is the earliest we've ever had this many 110 degree days, and it was the hottest June on record. Now, more than ever, it's vital that we help people stay cool and stay hydrated. We live in a desert. We need water, and we need lots of water. We have unsheltered people. We have people walking without cars. We need as much water in Arizona as possible. Council member Berdetta Hodge hosted a citywide water drive during her July community gathering, Breakfast with Berdetta. The goal was to collect water for Tempe's cooling centers, as well as for the Hope Homeless Outreach Team. Sometimes when we offer a bottle of water, that can be our first interaction with that person. It breaks down those walls to where they know that they can start trusting the people that are there to help them. But we really utilize it so we can communicate with them, we can understand them, and we can get them to where they can accept our help. So this water is going to our homeless outreach team as well as it's going to our heat relief cooling centers. So we go out to those cooling centers and provide resources there, but it allows them to have a cool space, to have a conversation, to sit and talk while they're not under the heat and having a nice cool bottle of water really is helpful. The generous spirit of Tempe residents was on full display on July 20th. Car after car pulled up in front of the Pile Adult Recreation Center with bottles and cases of water. My grandparents raised me, so I know for a fact that elderly people struggle during the summers a lot because of the temperatures and some of them are alone, so they may not have access to, to water. I just love serving the community and with people like Councilwoman Hodge, whenever they reach out, I make sure I show up to do what they ask me to do. I think one of the most important things is that we help each other. We gotta make sure we do this because um, I'm sure they, there is a population out there that they need for this water. And yeah, a drop of water could actually save a life. But I really want to thank our community, our neighborhoods who walked up and drove up one of the hottest days of the year and donated water for someone else. That shows that Tempe cares. The heat wasn't the only thing setting records. Council member Hodge's hydration drive collected nearly 15,000 bottles of water, more than any single community drive has ever produced. Well, I was talking to my HOPE team and they give about 40 cases a week. And that averages out to what, how much we've collected today, about, about four months. This water will be used for our wonderful HOPE team to give out to our unsheltered, in all our cooling centers around the city of Tempe. This is gonna be a continuing thing. So I ask all of you, if you see a place that there's donating water or you come to a breakfast or a data, please continue to donate because we're gonna need water 365 days a year. We're gonna continue this water drive for the rest of the time that I'm on council. Stop in for a bottle of water, cool air conditioning, and to connect with resources for yourself or others. Find heat safety tips, cooling center locations, where to go for utility bill assistance, and more at tempe.gov slash heatrelief, or call the Care and Hope line at 480-350-8004.